Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today, bringing you guys and gals Torico. La la oh, oh, oh. People, Torico chapter 385, Midras Full Course. What is the true intent behind Pear's proposal? Brunchy, what you're gonna help us? Can you even hear yourself talking right now? How the hell are, you, are we supposed to trust you anyway? Well, considering how Akasia, he's gone like full of blown god tier mode and he just spanked the planet and how he betrayed Pear and all the blue nitro. I'm kind of like, eh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. How he's going to prove his trust to Tengu Brunchi and Tepe and company is apparently the riddle chapter that base data apparently all came from him the base data of the riddle chapter came from pear really but i believe they got it before they entered the gourmet world from like mansum and company I, I don't know it's, it's a little bit fishy i just find it a little bit awkward how oh yeah all that data just came from me yeah now you guys know But maybe there was something in the past that did indicate that the data came from the Blue Nitro, specifically Pear. Dorico! What he said just now, I don't think he's lying. Brunch. There was data on Neo inside the Riddle chapter. The only person in this world that could have data on Neo would be him, who had eaten Akasia firsthand in the past. Oh, okay, hold on. Wait, okay, 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 okay. okay. So, Pear wasn't Nox. It uh, sounds... That sounds funky. Pear wasn't knocked by Acacia until after Neo reached Acacia's location. So that means that possibly it was Pear that had the laser that pointed the laser at Neo to get a sense of what Neo's capture level was now because Neo had attained a form that's even more powerful than in his prime days. The blue nitro pair would be familiar with like old school prime Neo and so he wants to compare the power of current Neo, or like Neo before he was consumed by Acacia, to prime Neo. So maybe he actually measured the capture level when Neo was going towards Acacia's location. Tepe, covered in blood, Toriko. Do you think you can remove his knocking, Pear's knocking? The way I am now, I'd be able to handle Pear and stop him if he tries anything. Leveled the Fuck up when he consumed parts of Chi Chi. Including the remaining eight kings, we're gonna need all the help we can get. What what the hell is this? Neo's capture level is, and they're fucking hiding it. Hold on, next page. Please tell me we're gonna see this. Okay, no, we see Acacia. Fuck! No, dude, that's bullshit! Yo, they're yo, they're hiding his capture level completely. Neo's capture level is dot 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 dot. Yes, that's it. Like, really? Really? You're gonna dick tease us when it comes to Neo's capture level now? I mean, just, why? This dude is beyond God. How powerful is he? Oh, no, we're, we're gonna hide it, all right? We're gonna save that shit for later. And he's merged with Akasia. So he's still even more powerful. I mean, you might as well show it to a uh, dick teasing. The fuck? Blue balls. <laughs> Akasia is just talking mad shit right now. Look, look at him. Look at him. What a wonderful taste to savor. This feeling of strength superior to the eight kings. I would have figured my farts to be delier than you lot. But perhaps you might be able to entertain me for a little while after all. Mitter. But nonetheless, he was smashed down back to the planet after the hungry punch in the previous chapter. Mitterer not even looking at Acacia. Why? I have no idea. But Acacia not liking that. Gourmet punch. Another giant appetite energy based attack flying towards Mitterer from the planet. How about you shut the hell up for a sec, Acacia. Minority! Oh, dude! I fucking love this shit. And he has that smile, too. That smile, yeah! Minority 
world. I love this move. This, it's so broken. It's so epic. Okay, so he reversed the attack completely against the Kasi himself. With Gourmet Luck, we saw that he was able to, like, move the trajectory of the energy wave that was coming his way when he did the Gourmet Spank. With Minority World, he completely flips the attack. The Minorities take over. Because with the Minorities, they wanted to fly towards Akasa's direction as opposed to Midra's direction. Froze. Ugh. Joe. In Joe's Gourmet Demon form with a knife point at Midra's skull. You won't be able to dodge this now. In fact, I've already hit you. <laughs> Satan Hole. What exactly did she destroy? I don't fucking know. It didn't goddamn work though. Midra was just sitting there. Hold on. Okay, well let me let me show you the devastation. This is comparable to the extra dimensional laser. Look at this thing. What the fuck? Bro, bro. Is it was it one celestial body? Was it several? Like meaning like asteroids? I'm not too sure. Was it another moon? Like Either way, that is a very impressive attack. Is there something there? Yo. What is this thing? Like in the midst of the attack, like there's this. What is this? Like a satellite or something? It looks like a Pokemon. Like, <laughs> I'm okay, huh? Interesting. Well, actually, no, it, it's probably just a part of the whatever she destroyed. The end result is jack shit. Minority world, gourmet luck, whatever, hungry space, he used something to negate it. And that's what broken motherfuckers do. When I first met Froze, that meeting, now we're in like mock flashback or something. That is my full course's hors d'oeuvre. That's where it all began. And Joey gets knocked back. Oh shit, whoa. Planetary rotary cutting? Makes like a moonish, small planet-ish, paper-ish wave of appetite energy that surrounds him in like a maelstrom and he's getting cut into pieces. She's like, I got hit, no. No, 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 no. Because of Minority World, this dude has like instant regeneration. Forget about hyper, forget about high speed. He has instant regeneration. But here's the attack. So yeah, it's like paper wrapping that wraps around him. And the outside is like moon asteroid-ish. It's a very strange type of attack, but the end result is the maelstrom of blades that cuts Midra. But again, Midra, because of the minority world and probably even Gourmet Luck and his innate energy and whatever, just this dude has so many fucking powers. This dude has instant regeneration. And Froze's charity, that is my full course's soup, my seafood dish. I see where he's going now when it comes to his full course. It's pretty obvious. I knew that his full course was going to be Froze oriented. I was actually thinking that it was going to be like specific meals that she cooked for him. But when you say my seafood dish is the warmth of my first family, yeah. So clearly he's going for the more emotional loving type of route for his full course. And again, this is <laughs> vomiting on Midra. Fucked up. My full course is meat dish is the feeling that even now still lingers on my forehead of her goodnight kiss. <laughs> oh, bro, okay. I'm, I'm surprised, I honestly am. Yo, he's going all lovey-dovey on me right now. Saying bomb, leaving some, I mean, see, like, this in back in the day was like horrifyingly impressive. Now it's nothing, like, <laughs> oh my dude, now it's just, it's nothing. An attack like that in Toriko is mid-tier at best. At best. And my full course's main dish is her face. How it always looked over me with such kindness and care. Froze's smile. That is my main dish. Oh, boy. Joe is using the gourmet luck. But I'm pretty sure Starjan did his job well. I'm not capable of such caring, beautiful, great thoughts like you, Froze. Fuck it. Like, I see where he's coming from because before Froze, before Acacia, when he was presumed to be a good guy, before his family, he had nothing. So I can see that all the love and care that he got from them would stick with him forever, essentially. But 
Like, there's just something off-putting about it. Because it's Midra. That You know what? That's the thing. It's fucking Midra. It's like finding out that, like, Kenpachi was a fan of My Little Pony. Like... Or, or Makoto Shishio was into sewing. Or, like, Togoro had a thing for picnics and gardening. <laughs> like, what? It just makes you scratch your head, like... This dude? This motherfucker? What? <laughs> it's crazy. I can never forget Froze's encouragement. That is my full course's salad. I was not expecting this type of chapter. Joey continues with the gourmet luck to try and make the acidic juices of the devil, the quote unquote devil, take effect on Akasia, but I don't think it's gonna do jack shit. Froze's teachings, that is my dessert. He's, he's crying too. Holy fuck, Mitra is actually crying. Remembering everything about Froze is forcing this indomitable force to cry. Did I use it all up on him? Yes, Starjan played his role well. All I wanted more than anything else was for there to be a place for everyone to be smiling, sitting around the dinner table from each other. That was Froze's dream. That dream can still come true, Midera. Well then, shit, 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 I'll be there. Ha! Gourmet luck once more. Acacia, bleach standard behind the back attack. Are you serious? Midra, Froze. But I think, no, no, that Froze, either he's full-blown hallucinating or it's Joey. And then we have Acacia. Like, it's time to get a spanking, boy. You've been naughty. Yo, Froze, Midra, uh, uh, damn, Acacia, yo! <sighs> well, okay. Way to meet this dude in, like, mid-orbit, bro. Acacia, socked by Toriko. The power of the red nitro flows. La la. So Toriko did power up significantly. What are you doing, Acacia? They're talking. Yeah. <laughs> you really are all of ideas, aren't you? The same stupid thing every time. So, did you use up every bit of your gourmet luck to get Acacia to come to your rescue? No, 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 no. Oh, wait, can gourmet luck actually do this? No. Well, Toriko coming was my. Gourmet luck. Looks like that was bad luck for you. Okay, can can the gourmet luck actually make? <sighs> okay, wait. P okay, okay, you know what? It is. It is. It is. It, 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 okay, that's gourmet luck. Maybe I forgot, but essentially that's what it is. Gourmet luck is causality manipulation. That's what gourmet luck is, essentially. Okay, well, being able to hear the voices of, like, the ingredients, that's independent. But, like, when Komatsu can, like, randomly find shit, he's manipulating causality. Now, something happens to Joey, where, like, her body is, like, being eroded away, or, like, it's being vaporized slowly from the left side, Joey appealing to Midra. If you can just find Froze's soul, then someday your dream could still come true. Your full course, oh shit, <laughs> is a load of shit. Okay, another can somehow, some way. But like, are you really gonna try this shit again? Midra isn't even breaking a damn sweat. Like, come on, like, no. Like, you should have learned your lesson. Fool me once, shame on him. Fool me twice, never gonna happen. Just flat out, never gonna happen. Boom. Yes, exactly. Slammed away. Or something happened. I, you know, I have no idea. But something happened, and the end result is no. Bitch, I am not getting back in that camp. Fuck you. My full course is a souvenir for you to take to the underworld. If you happen to meet Froze on the other side in time zero, tell her for me. Minera, don't erase me. This is the body that has all your memories attached to it. Don't worry, I've got all my memories safely in the pit of my stomach. And even now, they're still marinating and ripening. They're, huh, are they still in space? 
Because it looks like Minoru's walking away. But I'm like, dude, like, you're in space. That's a chapter. So, Joey is being erased out of existence, apparently. And Minoru looks like he's walking away in space. Just keep in mind that, like, they should still be in space. Like, despite all, like, the smoke and whatever. Hold on, I, I realize that, too. Like, a lot of the backgrounds are just pure fucking smoke. Like, just straight up smoke. Or dust, or whatever. So, that means I'm done. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, and... Subscribe as always, a fairly tame Toriko chapter, but I'll see you guys next week for the next Toriko chapter. Have a nice goddamn day.